in the previous episode. <laughs> and now... Hi guys and welcome back to another Rape My Ride video. I apologize for the bad lighting but I had no other time today that I could record. Um, this is Milo, he's a big dog, he's a good boy. Today's video is our first video that we will be looking at uh, Instagram builds and no longer just some of my friends builds although one of the builds is still my friend's car now in the last episode uh, or at least the last time I spoke to somebody who's watched the videos they shouted at me because I was referring to a car that only had um, rims as a build now <laughs> Tyron um, yeah, okay, fine, understandable. I'll not do that again, because I, I do agree. Just rims isn't a build. I know. So first up, we have Daniel's old school Toyota Corolla. Now, Daniel's a good friend of mine, and he said that I must mark him harshly. Because um, it's not a build, it's just a car. It's like he's daily it there's nothing done to it whatsoever. Now, when Daniel was picking his cars, I was there and I was helping. And you know, I was like, what about this? A nice clean Miata. And Daniel was like, nah. Then I was like, what about this? A cool S13. Daniel looked at it and was like, nah. But then Daniel found his old Corolla which yes is reliable but probably no more reliable than our old Japanese sports cars and he thought mmm now this is the one so yes Daniel I'm gonna be marking you quite harshly I do apologize all right so time to look through some of Daniel's pictures of his of his uh, Corolla I mean I know that the the black hood and uh, bumper I believe as well wasn't necessarily planned because I know you got into a little bit of an accident and then you had to get a aftermarket one or a rebuilt one or something I don't know but you basically had to rebuild your front end a little bit uh, the black hood it kind of looks a bit uh, <laughs> how do I say this Daniel <laughs> It doesn't look good because it, it looks like you're trying to have like a carbon fiber hood on this very stock car. Um, and as much as I pre uh, appreciate the Toyota Corolla and like I, I, I know you you came to one of my car meets and like you're keen to to modify your car to a degree anyway I know it's your daily so you don't want to go fiddle with engine wise but um, yeah, no, it just, I don't know, the, the black hood doesn't look good. I mean, if you hit me up, we could have sprayed it white very easily. And then your hubcaps, they're not even actual rooms. They're very interesting as well. They definitely go with the black hood. Yes, uh, but the red stripe. Yeah, no, that really that yeah that it's not going well <laughs> for you <laughs> look it's a very stock car so I'm not going to spend lots of the video talking about it for those who are not interested I mean it looks good and it looks like you have a carbon fiber I mean the interior is very clean actually before I go into the the fancier things like the interior is a it's a very clean car again I've seen it in person it's it was a good purchase in terms of like how the car is how the car is I mean there was barely any scratches body wise there was barely any miles on the on the clock there was it was a good buy but personally like you could have gotten something pretty cool so and I mean you've got the the, the cool looking carbon fiber gear knob although I don't know if it's proper carbon fiber I'd have to see it in person I haven't seen that in person but 
Uh, okay, look, they don't, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look good either. <laughs> I can't give you a very high mark for this. So... Mate, you are one of my very good friends, so it's hard for me to say, but I'm gonna give you a four, Daniel. I'm sorry, mate. But yeah, it's good. It's a it's a clean car, but it's not JDM icon cars. Almost they are cars that you'd expect to see in these kind of videos. Whilst the Corolla, just out of the blue, doesn't really fit in. Yeah, it's it needs some detail work to get it to a clean car standard. So it runs maybe a, uh, some callovers, uh, lowering springs, just bring it down a little bit. Don't have to slam it because I know again you're using it as a daily. So it looks good, but needs things to actually either be on the bottom end of the scale or the top end. Right now you kind of plop there in the middle. All right, moving on, because I feel really bad about ragging on Daniel's car. We have Temple Turkey, uh, like the <laughs> name. So he's got, so he has a 92 Mazda MX-5, year after mine, which my cat is currently calling on. It's a pretty stock setup still. He's got a power flow decatted exhaust, E-Light Performance CC flat pad filter, an EBC green stuff brake pads, uh, which still need to be fitted, but that's fine. He's replaced all the piping in the engine bay with silicone pipes, something that I'd like to do because, yes, wheels he's currently running on Lenzo 15 inch 7J spec V wheels. Past that, he's done a soft top delete and he's got LED light. So he's done a soft top delete. That's a very argumentative point or thing to do. So I've also done a soft top delete. Um, uh, I personally just find that it, for how old our cars are, a lot of the times those vinyl roofs are completely screwed up and you either need to get them completely restored and like redone and which will essentially cost you what the entire car you probably paid for the entire car um so and it just wasn't worth keeping I, i'm not sure about you but it wasn't worth keeping mine in there so i'm not sure about you but uh for my car i had to take out the soft top because it was it was just really badly uh, badly worn like it had holes in it. I couldn't drive in the rain. That's how bad it was. Um, as well as driving at 120 my, uh, on the highway, my roof decided to just flick back whilst it was clipped forward. So yeah, no, that was an exciting time. So I'm not sure why you've gotten rid of your soft top, but I, I had to. If you're willing to sacrifice the fact that you're no longer going to be a convertible, then personally, I feel like it's, actually a good mod to do like i was saying our roofs are basically scrapped when we get them they're too old um yeah and it's just as a restoration build then you should keep it if you're tracking the car which you are you um you do the occasional track days and stuff then it's weight reduction i don't see why you'd not actually um looking through pictures really neat and tidy engine bay uh looks really nice uh is stock though besides the silicone piping your headlights look really good you've got the a black uh rear plate this part uh that looks quite nice uh especially against the red looks pretty good um offset number plates nice <laughs> yeah and the led headlights look really good there's not much more to say about this uh because it is a stock it's essentially a stock miata just um with the odd uh, with a very basic setup uh on it so the exhaust um tidied up and neatened engine bay 
for rating Temple Turkey, <laughs> I'm going to give you a... I think I'm going to give you a 7 out of 10. There's still a lot that you could do. I mean, it's a very clean setup, but there's a lot that could still be done. If you don't want to go for a full turbo build, completely understandable if you wanted to keep if you want to keep naturally aspirated i mean okay you already have the exhaust so uh, all, all credit there but i mean uh engine wise you could do like a cold air intake uh or cone filter intake uh like what i have like get the intake pipe done and then the cone filter nothing wrong with that if anything it just kind of it adds maybe like this much more throttle response and you've got a little bit of induction sounds which are cool yeah there's nothing else that i can really say about this build either it's it's a definitely a clean miata but it's there's a fair bit that could still be done so yeah a good seven out of ten no no i don't see anything wrong with that it's good nice it's a nice car i have to admit all right now following after that really good setup on that miata we have a S13, <laughs> yet another one. So we have Young Static with his 93 Nissan S13. And damn, <laughs> this thing looks good. Um, so it started out uh, when he bought it as a bit of a, let's say a three to four mark bill with the interesting color scheme let's let's call it that it was a very interesting build and setup that the previous owners had that uh from when he bought it but what he's done to it now like it just looks really good so his color uh that he's got on there is called champagne quartz metallic very fancy it looks really good uh especially with your rims which we'll get to now so it's a stock body, but um, the shark nose body, which I assume refers to the front end, he's got gloss white XXR 527s. Uh, it's a 9.5 J EFT 25 in the front and rear. The fronts are 225s by 45 by 17. In the rear, he's got a 245 by 40 by 17. I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure exactly like how wide that is, but it sounds like a pretty, well, I guess everything sounds like a meaty setup when you've got a Miata, so you can only fit like this wide of a rim. I don't know what to say. It, it looks like a really good wheel setup, especially um, rim against uh, your car colors combination. You've got a freshly built CA18 uh, DET. You have custom charge pipes, a hybrid T3-4 turbo a 67 millimeter turbo back exhaust with a jdm style back box jap style back box oversized pistons rb26 444 cc injectors uh, it hasn't been tuned yet but he is hoping for 190 to 200 kilowatts that will be a fair amount of power i mean s13s don't weigh that much more than what Miatas do okay they weigh a, f a little bit more but like not dr uh, drastically so I mean with that much power you you're moving you you had a good setup then this is turning out to be a very clean build looking through the pictures this car is divine it's got the tire text it's got the white rims against the the gray body it looks like a super clean car super clean build engine engine bay also looks divine the the small blue piping every now and then really adds a burst of color uh if i'm to down something there i'd say that it needs a little bit more color but i personally just like very colorful engine bay so like when the engine's bright red against like a black bay i think that looks really good uh for your build it looks like you've gone for a very subtle kind of color combination which is perfectly fine it looks good
But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked, leave a like. Uh, tell me down in the comments what you think these cars should be rated. Uh, and leave suggestions for next, um, next week's episode. What we should, what cars we should rate. You can leave your Instagram or hit me up on Instagram and we'll chat. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Are you going to jump on my car? No, oh, you're going to scratch my paint. And my cat's going to sleep on top of my car. Cool. Why do all the creatures love my car? Because you're going to obviously... Ew. Why are all the cats here? Yes, I love you all too, but... Yes, I, I'm trying to record a video. Okay. Yeah, no. Yeah. As you can tell, I'm... Loved by many a creature today. I've also deleted the soft top in my car. Please don't pee. Because I, I do agree. I'm going to be marking you hard. No! What? Oh, you're adorable. You have a leaf stuck to your bum. Yes. <laughs> oh. Uh, you're sitting on my foot, dog. <laughs> Milo! Because I... Uh, that sounded dumb. Especially... Birds! Nah!